It's time for the transparent mod. We usually do this mod only on the base iPhone model, but in this case, the iPhone 16 Pro looks way better on the inside than the regular iPhone 16. We already got a sneak peek and wow, this is the best looking iPhone I have ever seen. Interestingly enough, the iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't have the steel ink case battery like the 16 Pro does. And damn, this looks really good, but let's make it look even better. We're gonna grab our massive suction cup and slap that on the back of the iPhone 16 Pro. I haven't even activated this phone yet, so uh, you know I'm dedicated to what I do. We'll pull up on it, and you can see just like that, the back glass comes up because we already opened this up before, literally just to get a sneak peek of the inside. So I have talked about this before, but Apple completely redesigned this phone. The 15 Pro Max back glass mod didn't turn out that well due to how it was built. You can remove the back glass, but you can't see the internals through it. And well, that's kind of the whole point of a transparent mod. So this phone is going to look spectacular. Open it up. All we need to do now is unscrew this shield with the Apple logo. I love the little touches that Apple adds in these phones. And now we can just disconnect the back glass. There we go. So on this back glass, we have the wireless charging coil. We have the magnet array for MagSafe, what I presume to be a rear microphone, the flash, and we also have a little water damage indicator on the back. To make this transparent, we need to carefully remove everything, starting with this graphite paper. We'll take some tweezers, not these, not these. Mm. All right, whatever. And we're going to peel up the corner because I want to get it all off in one shot and it's not all coming off. We're going to apply some heat to make this process a little easier. We need to remove as much as possible around the wireless charging coil so that we can remove it without problems. Now, I think we have enough of the graphite paper off. Looking at the actual magnet array, obviously this supports Qi 2 wireless charging, but it's really hard to see any difference between these magnets and the original MagSafe magnets. Speaking of MagSafe, this is one of the coolest cases I have ever seen. So this is the O-Stand 360 spin case that comes with a bunch of different colors. But unlike most other phone cases that can only do one thing or another, this case can do it all. Fun fact, Taurus is actually the original designer of the O-Ring. Anyway, on the actual back glass, I am seeing these two brackets we still have to remove, so let's go ahead and do that. It also has this rotating MagSafe ring, which obviously still lets you use MagSafe accessories, but it doubles as a phone grip. You can MagSafe it to a mount and then rotate it as needed if you want to record or take a picture, or you can just drop it on a flat surface like this and use it with its kickstand. It feels and looks really sleek, and I'll probably be using the translucent one after this mod is done, although I really do like the black one. These cases aren't made of silicone, and they pair really well with the glass Glasgow X. This is a 12 feet military protection and scratch resistant screen protector that's incredibly easy to install and covers the entire front screen. These are all available for the iPhone 16 lineup and together you're probably never gonna have to see someone like me to get your phone fixed. Click the link in the comments or the description and check them out. You won't regret it. We'll put the iPhone 16 Pro aside and remove this bracket up here. So now we can get a better look at that flex cable. It just runs from the wireless charging coil to the rear microphone to the flash. The flash we should be able to kind of push out and that should come out a little bit. Now we can pull this back. If you're wondering how the flash remains water resistant, there's literally just a rubber gasket here. That's all they use. We're gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and that should very easily loosen the adhesive. Now we can just slice the adhesive under that rear microphone. And just like that, we have the flash and the rear microphone off the back glass. Now the only thing that's left is the wireless charging coil, which is actually surprisingly the hardest part. So in the last video, I actually developed a method where we used the wireless charging puck on the back alongside a ton of heat and slowly but gently pulled on the charging puck, which actually worked and released the wireless charger without any damage. Let's see if it can work this time around. We'll put some heat resistant gloves on. Now we're gonna try to place the heat gun on the table and cook the back glass. Once my hands feel like they're burning off, it's time to attempt to remove the wireless charging coil. We'll place the MagSafe puck on the wireless charging coil 
foil, and because they're all adhered together, it should come off in one piece. Or so I thought. We've run into a bit of a predicament already. The cover of the wireless charging coil seems to have come off. They're supposed to come off together, but they separated. I think what we're going to do is add some adhesive on the coil and then re-adhere it to the back and then try and pull it off that way. No way. <laughs> okay. That actually worked. And... There we go. Now, I made a bit of a mistake this time. Usually I put paper behind the coil, but this time I didn't. Let's see if we could just fit a card under. It's not looking amazing right now, so we'll clean it up a little bit and replace the magnets later on. Now that everything is removed off of the back glass, we're going to do what we usually do. Grab a container, grab some acetone, and pour it into the container. Before we put the back glass inside, it's important to pry up just a little bit around the corners to let the acetone actually go underneath this metal plate. So we've left the back glass in the acetone for three days, a little bit excessive, but it's actually evaporated so we can now pull it out and you can see how wrinkly and nasty the glue is underneath there. Everything should be pretty easy to remove now. We're going to try something completely different this time around. Apple hinted that the iPhone 16's metal backplate is actually made of 100% recycled aluminum. And because it can be incredibly difficult to remove just by prying, especially around the camera bumps, well, we have gallium. Gallium is a metal with an incredibly low melting point that can eat through aluminum and make it as brittle as a dried up leaf. If we put this gallium in the boiling water, we're going to quickly see that the gallium turns to a metal liquid. To ensure this will work, we need to sand down the aluminum on this back glass. Our main focus is the area around the camera bumps because those are the hardest to remove. Now all we're gonna do is... Should we cover stuff up so it doesn't seep into the... Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now all we're gonna do is pour some of the gallium onto the aluminum backing. This stuff kind of goes everywhere so... This will need to sit for a little while before the aluminum and gallium can interact. That looks so cool. We waited about 15 minutes and... So we've left it on for a little while. I have my old uh, experiment here that didn't go so well. This is the iPhone 14 back glass. We're gonna be pouring in the gallium here once we're done so we can reuse it. But for now, we're gonna take our blade and see what happens if we get under. Holy crap, this is just peeling away. Oh, that's so cool. So the aluminum is incredibly weak right now. We can just remove it like paper. <laughs> this is crazy. You guys don't understand how satisfied I am right now because removing this plate usually takes hours. We poured a little more gallium to help speed up the process, but like I was saying earlier, this made the process so incredibly easy. The camera bumps it came out like it was nothing, but we were unfortunately left with a huge mess. To clean this mess, we should be able to just use hot water to separate the gallium from the back glass, but we, uh, we weren't really expecting what happened next. I don't know. There seems to be some sort of chemical reaction going on. This was most likely hydrogen gas. Because gallium breaks down the aluminum's protective layer, it interacts with the water molecules, pulling them apart, and in the process, releasing hydrogen gas, which is what caused the bubbling. Pretty cool. This is not supposed to happen, but the gallium has come off the... <laughs> the back glass. <laughs> the cleanup process from this was pretty extensive, but for the most part, you can just use water and soap. The gallium is surprisingly pretty easy to remove. We're getting extremely close. Now it's time to do some scratching. So there's no better way around this as far as I know. We just have to take a razor blade and scratch off all this paint very slowly and painfully. And there it is. We just finished scratching off all the leftover paint and this thing looks beautiful. It has a nice matte texture with the Apple logo being completely transparent. 
We're still not done just yet. We have to find a way to connect the camera bumps to the back glass because the aluminum we removed was doing just that. We'll use some super glue and apply it around the perimeter of the holes for these bumps. This shouldn't affect the way this looks at all because it won't be visible. As long as we clean off all the residue, everything should look just fine. Now we'll reapply the MagSafe magnets and reinstall the wireless charging coil and the flash. We'll make a few final touches, reinstall everything, and reheat the adhesive so it's sticky again. And there we go, the first ever look at the iPhone 16 Pro transparent mod. This is hands down the best looking transparent mod I have ever done with the metallic battery, the Apple logo, the Taptic engine, the little Apple logo over here. And uh, well, we still haven't tested the flash and the wireless charging coil and even the cameras because they've been through a lot after, uh, after everything. So first thing we'll do is flip this around and we'll hit the little flash icon. I almost forgot I have the Taurus screen protector on. It's just like blending in there. We'll turn on the flash and take a look at that. It works, thank God, we didn't damage that. Did we damage the wireless charging coil? We'll put on our MagSafe power bank just to test the magnets as well. That clicks on nicely and it's charging. Now for the last test, let's see how good those cameras are. Looks fine to me, looks fine to me, and looks fine to me. We did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. This took us probably around three days to actually complete, three or four days. So uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We have a lot more cool mods on the way, so stay tuned. Peace.